Hi friends, uh, welcome to TechLake video tutorials. Uh, this session I am going to explain about uh, difference between the replace and the translate functions in Oracle. Like when if you have a requirement to change uh, some data, uh, input data, like uh, most of the people, like most of the clients, they require to change some addresses or names or email IDs. So that time if you are working in front end applications, that time you need these functions. But people will get confused on uh, replace and translate. And most of the interviews, like uh, maybe uh, you will get confused on uh, replace and translate. So here, uh, one thing you have to remember that when you are going for replace, always it will go for string. String means multiple characters. But when you are going for translate, translate always will go with a single character. Okay? Look at this example. Look at this example. You can see here wherever nth is available nth is a string three characters i am passing here i want to replace with m now you can see reshwam then vikram wherever nth is available have replaced with a single character with a string whatever have a string three characters is you can say string but when you are going for translate translate always will go by character for example wherever r is available i want to replace with j a but what translate will do it will replace with only j it won't replace with a why you can see here why because translate always will go by character go by character by character okay wherever your r is available it will replace with j only not with a okay now if you specify second character e then wherever e is available it will replace with a okay that you can see here or you can say i now you can see Vikram wherever i is available it is replaced with a wherever r is available it is replaced with j so this is the reason you can see here r is available Vikram it is replaced j and wherever i is available it is replaced as j so this is called character by character replacement and the syntax is both are same both will be uh, you can see three parameters and one is your input uh, data column which is your passing string and the second parameter is your searching uh, parameter which one you want to search first then third parameter is your output what you are expecting what you are replacing that string whatever you are searching here that is your second parameter third parameter is your output what you are expecting actually okay so most of the requirement people are using this replace and translate for address validation or name validation or maybe email id validation most of the bank projects or uh, supply chain projects like it maybe address is uh, keyword for any business so they are looking for perfect address maybe some people while entering address maybe they will enter some shortcuts but uh, they, when they are delivering the products to the particular address if the address is not valid so that product is not reachable to the customer so maybe they are losing the customers or Maybe they are when they are promoting their products, so they want to reach all the existing customers. If the address is not good, it's not valid. So it is uh, obviously they're not able to reach the customers, right? So that is the reason uh, most of the requirement you will be replacing the strings, uh, like uh, for example postal addresses or email IDs or whatever the names. Maybe some people's surnames, common surnames will be there. So that time we can go for replace. And uh, translate only by character by character. If you want to somewhere special characters, if it is available in your data, you want to replace that special character to some special character. That time you will be going for translate. Translate in your data, in your business data. If you have a special character, some people will enter some special character. Maybe some systems will convert whatever user entered data. Maybe some thing will get converted into some special character. So that special character, if you want to replace, because that time trans, uh, sorry replace won't work and that time we have to go for translate so replace will work with a particular string okay and then translate is required only for single character replacement okay single character replacement so that time you can go for translate these are the differences between now here also another example you can see here wherever rs is available i want to change md okay so here there is no rs in the string there is no rs in the string that's why it is not changed anything the same as it is because replace always will go by string rs is there is no string but a translate there is r r is available 
here you can see resh it is replaced with m then s wherever s is available it is replaced with d here you can see s it is replaced as d okay so like this you can go for translate translate uh, most of the requirements like in your patent applications or maybe a bank applications maybe you will get a special characters like when you are doing a data migration from one system to another system uh, maybe some extraction uh, while extracting the data from their systems maybe you will get uh, some special characters but that special characters universe system is not acceptable so that time you can replace that special character to something or when you have a uh, data files so you are getting with uh, some special characters uh, uh, delimited files that you want to replace with some other delimited that time you can go for translate okay replace mainly for data validations or email id or address or name or anything if you have a requirement that time you can go for replace so this is the major differences you can find so both are related to sql functions both will the syntax will be same uh, three parameters data string and uh, your input uh, search string and your whatever you are getting out like uh, you want to replace the string that is a third parameter this is the same uh, for syntax and everything both are same only difference is one is a string uh, replacer uh, second one is your character replacer so that is the major differences you can find replace and translate thank you for watching my videos please subscribe my channel to get more videos and updates my channel thank you very much